Rise and shine, my mothers and my brothers. How are you? Good morning. Good to see you. On my way to a job job. My regular job. Freezing this morning, 32 degrees. It's that weird part of the year where it's freezing in the morning, warm in the afternoon, warm in the sun. The minute the sun goes down, you're back to being cold again. Spring and summer weather flirting with us. Still reminding us that if you mess with us, winter will be back. This is that time of year where you could still get a snowstorm. A freak snowstorm. As a matter of fact, my Facebook memories reminded me that that did happen several years ago. I have a video of me driving to work when I was working in a barber shop. And I was driving about 15 to 20 miles an hour. It was a snow day. There was no school. And I took a video of my ride to work, and it was beautiful. And the trees were all covered with glass, kind of bending over the road. So it looked like I was going through like this glass tunnel. But it was magnificent. Hat, courtesy of Mr. Phil Foster, down in Dallas, Texas, starting a business called... PF Enterprises, Phil Foster Enterprises. So, thank you for the hat, Phil. He has proven to be a good friend and a solid dude. If you don't know Phil Foster, different than Michael Foster, then you get to know him. Well, this video this morning is, is going to be a, a response to this past weekend. I spent this past weekend... Actually, I just recovered. I just had almost an 11-hour sleep because I was so wiped out from the weekend. There was a bunch of YouTubers that went to Vegas over the weekend. So I was there with about 20 different YouTubers, people with varying levels of subscribers. Had a great time. Breaking bread, fellowship, laughing. I did a couple live streams from there. I was still in bed, mm, semi-early, but the uh, the jet lag just kind of wipes you out, just kind of gets you. But today's video is the truth about Terrence Pop. Some of you know Terrence Pop. Redonkulous, I believe, on YouTube, and I believe it's redonkulous.com. I met Terrence at a speaking engagement last fall. And he's well known in certain communities. A lot of people really like him. A lot of people owe their life to him. I had a little bit of fellowship with him last year. I had a uh, interview slash conversation with him and came away with this conclusion that he was a little bit aloof, a little bit cynical, but I knew there was something more to him than that. And in the YouTube men's community, which is my term, the YMC, my term for male YouTubers talking to other men, the U YouTube men's community, that's a great term, it really describes it, the YouTube men's community, which is a word that I prefer. I'm going to tell you the truth about Terrence Pop, because I spent some time with him this past weekend in Las Vegas. All right. Ready? And I'm not sure Terrence is going to like this or not. I hesitate making videos like this. I hesitate that because... All right, let me just get right down to it and say it. Terrence Pop is one of the most compassionate men I have ever met.
Yes, that tough love guy who has spent time in Iraq as a freedom fighter, serving in the military, that tough guy has the compassion of Jesus Christ. And it took me a second weekend of spending time with him. There, I blew his cover, didn't I? He has the compassion of Christ. It's interesting. There's a scripture that says, when Jesus saw the multitudes, what did he do? Compassion on them. Compassion. A New Testament Greek word, if I'm not mistaken, I'm going back decades in my Greek studies. Splanknizomai. Where we get the word spleen from. Innermost being in your gut. When Jesus saw the multitudes, he felt it in his gut. That's where we get compassion. Compassion is feeling it in your gut. I saw that in Terrence Pop this weekend. I saw this man speak at a level, personally, one-to-one, -one, not to a group, when I was talking with him, that was so caring. It was the heart of a father. I don't want to say he was that far from tears, because that, that would be, as Terrence would be. As Terrence would say, that's gay. And I jokingly say that. With a, with a lot of affection, I say that. That's gay. But I saw compassion out of him. Because you know he gets fired out of a cannon on his videos. And you've seen him talk. Just... I saw a man this weekend. An experienced man, one-to-one, -one, that was compassionate, loving kind, a caring man, a respectful man. I know I'm blowing his cover, but I felt this weekend, if anyone displayed out of the 20 YouTubers, and I'm not putting any, anyone else down, because I have a lot of good things to say about everybody else, Terrence displayed to me the compassion of Christ in a couple different ways. And I am a compassion detector. I'm a walking, talking, living, breathing compassion detector. Terrence displayed to me a care and a concern about some things in my life. And that same compassion spills over into his concern about men in general. So when you hear Terrence say the phrase, you guys, or you men, he's really talking to you personally. He's not a generalist. I literally, you know, it's so funny. It's so funny how, and I'm not even sure if Terrence identifies as a religious person, a Christian person, but can Christ be, can Christ use somebody who doesn't use the word Christ? Can God use somebody who doesn't claim to be a believer in God? Well, guess what? It happened this weekend because I felt like I was sitting next to Jesus Christ as I was talking to him. And I felt the splank nidzomai, the compassion, come out of him. Even more than some people who claim to be followers of Christ. Isn't that weird when you experience compassion, Christ-like compassion, from someone who doesn't, identi who doesn't openly identify with that? So, as a result of this weekend, I am not 
I'm a fan of everybody that I collaborate with. I'm now a super fan of Terrence because I felt something from him. And it wasn't just emotional. It was inside. It wasn't just tingly. It was inside. It was a gut thing. And I know I am 100% right on that. 100% right. And now I just see that I spilled my coffee on my seat. It's a good thing my seats are coffee colored. I'll see you tomorrow on the Rise and Shine. Check out Terrence Pop. I'll put a link for him down below. You won't be disappointed. Deep in the shadows, I know it's hard to put one foot in front of the other. Ah, so far is the echo. Where do we start? You can learn to discover a million stars Here in the shadows, I know you're scared Take my hand together, we'll make a stand We've got to fight to find a way Dare to fall to find out what to say No more just admit that you're just afraid Time to let go of all your fears and pride Stand up beside me, don't you hide We can build a better place If we can just find a way Then we can live a better day Rise from the ashes, from the anger, from the war Let's come together, lift your spirit for the cause. We should be equal, should be living free. All together, one and all, let's build a dream. Better day.